You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your two-week spoilers. These finish out this week that ends on December 1st and then go into Monday, December 4th through 8th. We have a lot to unpack. There's some hot new spoilers, huge progress in a bunch of front burner storylines, and I'm so excited to share these with you. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our day's updates. Now let's talk about it. So by now, if you stay current, Current on the episodes, you've seen Monday's episode where Nicole really thinks that Sloane and Eric's adopted baby is hers. And, you know, she's right. And Dimitri showed up to confront Sloane and she, he basically accused her of killing the baby. And then she confessed, no, 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 no. I just stole the baby. So that's kind of interesting. And, you know, he just really wants Leo loose. And so that's what he's pushing for. And EJ wants Rafe to get busy and find Dimitri and find answers about what happened to his son. So all good stuff. Tuesday, November 28th, we are going to have Everett and Stephanie conspiring. And Steve and John are back from Greece. They went over there to try and dig up some dirt on Constantine Melionis. And boy, did they find a mother load of it. It's very, very interesting stuff. Teresa chews out Constantine for what he has been doing and there's a lot to chew him out about. And Sarah gives Xander an important document. I am hoping it's a new birth certificate with him listed on there as Victoria's baby instead, uh, listed on there as Vic- as Victoria's baby daddy instead of Rex Brady. So we'll see. Wednesday, November 29th, Patch goes to talk to Kayla and Sarah, and he's filling their ear about Constantine. You know, Constantine has billed himself as a close friend of Victor's, but they find out that that is not true at all. Constantine had told the version of the story that his family loaned Victor the money to get started with Titan. But it looks like it kind of went the other way where Victor loaned Constantine money to open his restaurant, but it was a loan that was expected to be repaid and he never paid it back. Constantine did tell her that Victor loaned him money, but said it didn't need to be paid back. So there's just all these kind of things and... Constantine and Victor were not friends. In fact, they were enemies of sorts. So there's just a lot going on. And Patch wants to go to Maggie and tell her all this. But he airs it out to Kayla and Sarah first. But they're not sure it's a good time. So she also, Sarah also says that she, you know, she had some doubts about Constantine too, but after the kidnapping, you know, she's more sure that he's a good guy, but then Patch introduces suspicion in her mind about, okay, but that kidnapping was very strange, and there's no culprit, and Constantine came out of it looking really good, so she is finally starting to open her eyes too. It definitely looks like that Constantine's time could be up soon. I won't miss him. I do love John Capellas, though. He is a great actor. Bad news disrupts a romantic evening on Wednesday, and Xander overhears Alex and Teresa plotting. That should be interesting. And Kayla questions Sarah about how she feels about Xander. Well, looks like she's warming up to him again, right? And we have Eric agreeing this week to do a DNA test on the baby. Holly talks him into it, and it looks like that's probably going to come later in the week because Nicole tells Holly she's sorry for snapping at her at the hospital. And then Nicole also tells Holly that she really thinks that Eric and Sloan's baby is hers. And then Holly talks to EJ and says, let me talk to Eric. Let's see if we can do something about this. And then Holly's going to ask Eric to do the DNA test. I was wondering at first if... 
uh, that they were going to keep the test secret from Nicole just until they found out, you know, in case it was good news, bad news, you know, because no one really expects it to come out in favor of this baby being that one, you know. I mean, everybody, I, all the people in Salem, that is, except, of course, for Sloan and Melinda, and now Dimitri Herno, the truth. Also on Thursday, Teresa presses Alex Kidiakis to define their relationship, and Eric takes the little baby Jude over to see Mama Marlena, and he talks to her about Nicole thinking that that's her baby, and, you know, of course, Nicole has you know, swapped babies herself. So it's no wonder that that's first and foremost in her mind. And Dimitri again makes threats to tell the ugly truth if Sloan doesn't get her rear in gear and get Leo out of jail. And then Friday, December 1st, spoilers say that a new DNA test triggers stress for someone. Well, the only someone that should really be stressed is Sloan, but but Dr. Pierce could be in trouble. He's the sketchy doctor that helped them out. So, you know, there's still a possibility of further tampering. And Sloan makes every effort on Friday to get Leo out of jail so that Dimitri doesn't rat her out. But then she also has the problem of this impending DNA test. Tate interferes with Chanel, who's supposed to be meeting Johnny because Holly asked him to help break them up. And EJ is in Leo's face making accusations and gloating and I'm sure promising to put him away for murder. But hopefully he'll get out of jail pretty soon. And I think he will because of spoilers that we have for the second week, December 4th through 8th. So early in the week, Dimitri is surprised by a visitor. And I think that visitor might be little Leo because of a spoiler later in the week I'm going to tell you about. And Nicole is very eager to see these DNA test results on Monday because she's certain that she is right and everyone else is wrong. And that's her baby. I just don't see this wrapping up this fast. You know, the Days likes to drag things out and this hasn't been going on very long at all. So I just, I really don't see it going this way. So we'll see. Tuesday, December 5th, Dimitri considers giving himself up to the police. He doesn't want Leo going down for his crimes or anything, but you know, we'll see how that goes. It's, it's a very messy situation. He's accused of trying to kill Gabby and Stefan, and Gabby is accused of killing Lee Shen. If Dimitri and Stefan could conspire together to get both of them out of hot water and to screw over EJ, I definitely think they would do it, and I would be there for that. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Sloan tries to keep Eric from looking at the DNA results. But again, I'm wondering if Melinda is going to do another one of her interventions and talk to Dr. Pierce because Dr. Pierce will be in big trouble if those DNA tests show that that is indeed the stolen baby because he was telling a lot of lies about it and he is at the hospital. So we'll see. Wednesday, December 6th, Everett and Stephanie find out something completely shocking. And I do wonder if it might be that Chad has bought Gwen's half of the spectator because of a spoiler coming the next day. I'll tell you about in one second. Also on Wednesday, Wendy Shin opens up to Trip Johnson. I'm guessing it's about her grief over Lee and wanting to see Gabby prosecuted for murdering her brother because she's very certain that she did it. You know, when you see somebody holding a bloody knife standing over your stabbed brother, it tends to convince you that they are guilty. Thursday, December 7th, Stephanie grills Chad. And that's why I think Think that Everett and Stephanie, maybe they find out Gwen has sold her shares, not necessarily that Chad has bought them, or maybe they do find out that Chad has bought them. Obviously, he wants to fire Everett, but there's no way he can get away with it, you know, unless he just really wants to lose Stephanie. So I'm, I'm really excited to see this confrontation. And Alex is out with Teresa and they run into Maggie with Constantine. So both of the schemers are out with each of 
their goal digging targets when they have a run in. And Friday, December 8th, Leo is absolutely stunned by something Dimitri reveals to him. And so that's why I think that Leo is maybe the visitor that surprises him. So maybe Sloan is able to get him out on bail. And then Leo and Dimitri have some time together while Dimitri is considering throwing himself on the mercy of the court. And EJ pushes Nicole too much about something on Friday. And this spoiler also is what has me thinking that the DNA test is not going to come back in a way that's going to make Nicole happy. So we will definitely see how it all goes. That's everything we have for these two-week spoilers. If you haven't subscribed already, please reach down, click that button. That helps our channel so much. Drop your comments on what you're excited to see these two weeks and definitely come back soon because as always, we're talking days seven days a week. And this has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 